Colleen's Corner. Hi, welcome to Colleen's Corner, where every Tuesday I answer your questions. Today I'm in Hawaii, Hawaii. I'm leaving Hawaii today, but I'm not gonna have time to film and edit a video while I'm in LA because right when I get LA, I get on another plane and go to Atlantic City. So I thought I would film while I have this beautiful backdrop and lots of loud waterfalls and jet skis making noise. Let's get to your question. Two doors, one leads to hell, other to heaven. One is guarded by an honest person and the other a liar. What do you ask to find the right one? I feel like this is easy. I feel like you just ask something that you know is true, something that they would know, and then then you know where to go. Isn't that an easy answer? Like, I feel like that's easy. What was your favorite part of Hawaii? Okay, I got this question more than anything else. I love Hawaii. This is my favorite place in the whole world, so it's hard for me to pick just one thing. But I think my favorite thing was on one of the first days I was in Honolulu, and Rachel and I randomly decided to take a catamaran out into the middle of the ocean and go snorkeling, and we swam with a bunch of sea turtles. And it was so cool, but we've done so much this trip, I can't pick like one thing. We went on a helicopter ride, we went to Molokini Island, we swam in the pool, we went on jet skis, we went paddle boarding, we went to a luau, and we ate a lot of really good food. So I don't, I don't even, I can't pick anything. I just love this place so much. It's, it's really hard for me to pick something. I'm just really like Hawaii. Did you recreate the photo of you and Rachel in Hawaii? Love you. So here's the photo they're talking about. Rachel and I took that when I was 13 years old. So that was, I'm not gonna tell you how many years ago because it was a lot of years ago. <laughs> we tried to recreate it and it was harder than we anticipated. We had a lot of fun trying, but this is the best we could do. What are the things that annoy you most? Really slow people annoy me. Like if you're walking and they're walking very slow and they know you're behind them because they can hear you walking right behind them still walk really slow. That drives me insane. Like, either step to the side or move a little faster. I cannot stand when someone gives me a flat tire. I don't know if that's what they call it everywhere, but a flat tire is when you're walking in shoes and someone's walking behind you and they step on the heel. The heel of your shoe goes under your foot and it hurts and they scrape the back of your heel and it's really hard to put your shoe back on. Apple stickers really annoy me. You guys know this. It's really hard to think of things that annoy me when I'm in paradise, so I'm going to stop this question. Burger or burrito? Uh, I'm gonna have to say burrito. I grew up in Southern California where we have amazing Mexican food. So I'm a big fan of burrito. Oh look, I have my friends. Hey, oh, I'm a friend. Mr. Ocean. Mr. Ocean. Is he dancing? What is he doing? He's so helpful right now. Why is he just staring? I feel very violated right now. Even though thousands of people are gonna watch this video, I feel very uncomfortable knowing that someone is watching me while I'm doing it. <laughs> Anyway, I like burritos. I'm gonna go to the next question. Can you fit your whole fist in your mouth? I can certainly try. Oh my god, I can totally do it. It's really disgusting, but also I'm really proud of myself. I never knew I could do that, which I think is a good thing. Why would I need to know that I can do that? Can you name every state in America? Certainly not. Not a chance, and I'm not even gonna try. What are your opinion on Crocs? Love you. I think Crocs are hideous. However, one of my best friends, Bozelle Green, wears Crocs all the time, and I love her, so I'm not gonna hate on Crocs. I just, personally, I'm like, I would never wear those, probably, because I don't think they're very cute. However, I bought some Crocs for Miranda, and I wore them for the first time in Honolulu, on stage, and they're really comfortable. <laughs> I love them. They're so comfortable. I probably won't ever wear them for real, but I'm really happy that I can wear them as Miranda. Top five favorite documentaries. Okay, for those of you guys who know me really well, you know that I am obsessed with documentaries. It's all I watch is documentaries. I'm not gonna officially say that these are my top five favorite documentaries because I haven't put a lot of thought into this. So once I put more thought into it, then I will tell you my actual top five. These are just the ones I can think of on the top of my head. The Imposter, Blackfish, I really liked. Being Elmo was really good. Where the Bible Tells Me So, very good documentary. You should all watch that one. I watched one recently called Tall Hot Blonde. It's terrifying, creepy, weird. Do not watch it if you're a child. It's very uncomfortable to watch. Those are the five I can think of right now that I've really enjoyed recently. Now, come on out, Rachel. We're drinking mimosas. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to answer today. Thank you for watching, and thanks for being patient with me. Last week, all I did was upload vlogs every single day. If you want to watch all of my adventures in Hawaii, click here, and there's a playlist of every single day in Hawaii. The vlogs are really fun, and you guys should go check them out and share them with your friends if you're bored. 
and need something to do. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe. Today's my last day. I'm back on tour starting tomorrow. So if you want to check me out on tour, all the tour info is below. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.